It was a bright, sunny morning, and little Liam was already buzzing with excitement. Christmas was coming, and he couldn't Christmas wait to get、coming. their Christmas tree. Dad, when are we going shopping for the Christmas tree? We're not shopping this year, Liam. We're farming it. Farming it? Really? That sounds like fun. Will Mom come with us? No, I can't come today. I have to finish making your sister's hair pretty. You two have fun though. Soon, Liam and his dad were walking through the forest, searching for the perfect Christmas tree. The smell of pine filled the air. Dad, look at that tall one over there. His dad smiled and pointed deeper into the trees. Hmm. Let's keep looking, Liam. We need the perfect one. After a few minutes of searching, they finally found a tree that looked just right, full, green, and beautiful. Dad placed his. Hey, don't worry. The story isn't over yet. In fact, we're just getting started. But first, let's go meet Miss Blessing for our tutorial. When she's done teaching us. We'll jump right back into the story. Before we go into the full tutorial, let me show us how much channels that are making this type of videos are earning from YouTube. Let's look at this new channel that started just five months ago. You can see that this channel has only 17 videos in it, but look at the amount of views this channel is getting already, like a lot of views. And then when you come to Social Blade, you see that this channel is already earning about $3,600 every single month. For a brand new channel that has only 17 videos in it and started just five months ago, that's to tell us that this niche is a very lucrative niche. And not only that, the niche is not saturated. If you should start today and start creating your own 3D animated stories, the chances of you going viral and earning a lot of money from it is also very high. In creating this type of stories, there are basically six steps involved. The first step is you getting your story ideas. Then you generate your script from your story ideas. Generate images and convert your images to videos, or you can do text to video if you want. And then you generate your voiceovers. You lip sync all the necessary parts, and then you edit everything together. This is basically all that is required. All right, now let's take them step by step. We'll start with the first step: getting your story ideas. I personally think coming up with your own story ideas is the best. But you can also tell ChatGPT to suggest some story ideas for you. Or you can get story ideas from viral videos in your niche. Then the next thing is to generate your script. I came to ChatGPT and I narrated everything for ChatGPT using this speech-to-text feature. And then at the end of it, I put here that I want it to be a narrated 3D animated story with dialogues and background musics and sounds. Give me a script for this. And ChatGPT went ahead and gave me the script for it. You can see. Title: Christmas Tree Harvest Adventure. Scene one: Living room, morning. Background music. It suggested background music and sounds. It, it also suggested sounds. And then went ahead to say narrator. It was a bright sunny morning, and little Liam was already buzzing with excitement. Christmas was coming, and he couldn't wait to get the Christmas tree. And then the first dialogue here: Liam, Dad, when are we going shopping for the Christmas tree? Dad, smiling joyfully. We are not shopping this year, Liam. We are farming it, and so on and so on. He gave me the full detailed script, as we all can see here. I'm using the free version of ChatGPT, but if you have the pro version of ChatGPT, you can just use one of the GPTs to generate your script. It would be easier for you that way.、And、when you come to GPTs, you can just type something like animation and then wait for it to bring out some options for you. So you can see animation creation. Animation script builder, and we have so many other ones here. So any one you prefer here, you can just select it and then use it to build your script. So after generating your script, the next thing I did was to come to ChatGPT, and then I gave it this prompt: Give me text to image prompts I can use to generate high quality, beautiful, and aesthetic images for this story, and also image to video. Prompts, and that's because I want to generate my images and then convert my images to videos. But if you are doing text to video, just tell it to give you prompts that you use to generate your videos.、And、then it gave me these prompts that I we use to generate my images. So for my images, I used Bing AI. You can also use Image FX. This were the images Image FX gave me. And then for the second prompt, this was the images that Image FX also gave me. And then coming to Bing AI, see the image I got from Bing AI. This is the first prompt. This was the image it gave me, and for the second prompt from Bing, this was the 
image it gave me so personally i prefer the one by bing ai tell me which one do you prefer in the comment section the one by image effects or bing ai so another important thing i did in generating my images is that i just generated the first three images in bing ai and i used the banana to generate the rest of the images as you guys can see here right and i did this because i wanted to maintain consistency and that's how i generated the rest of my images after generating your images the next thing is to animate the images and you can also use either the image to video prompt that chat gpt gave you or you can animate some from your head or you can just leave it like that and let grok automatically animate the images for you just depends on the image you are animating like take for example this first image of the trees and the environment i didn't put in any prompt in grok to animate this i just imported the image into grok and then i let grok animate it automatically and i got this and then for this image of the father and the son walking in the bush I copied my image to video prompt from ChatGPT and then I came and pasted it here and Grok now gave us this result. Then for some images, I had to put in my own prompts myself from my head and animated them. And if you are creating this type of videos, you don't necessarily need to animate all your images using just one AI tool. Like I also animated some using Digen AI. For example, this place of the sun walking from the window to go and meet the dad, I animated it in Digen AI. And I used Digen because it has the opening frame and then the ending frame. So what I did was I imported the frame of the boy in the window as the first frame and then I imported the image of him and his father having a conversation as the second frame i now typed in this prompt and then clicked on send and it generated this image for us you can see the boy walking to the father and the dad now sitting down on the couch so it will just help the video to flow from one scene to another so after animating all your images the next thing to do is to look for all the places that require lip syncing and then lip sync all of them and you would also do this by coming back to your script and checking for all the dialogues so you can do this in grok as you are animating the images one after the other if you want to lip sync with grok as you are putting in the image to video prompt you are also copying the dialogues one after the other but i did not lip sync with grok in this video so this is what i did here even though i ended up not using it so liam where are you stay close to me so if you are using grok this is basically how you will do it and you can actually do everything in grok but another way to do it is to use either dreamina or digen ai to lip sync your videos and to do this you would have to first of all convert your dialogues to audio using either google ai studio or any um, voiceover generator that you use and if you don't know how to use these tools to lip sync your videos i've actually made a detailed tutorial on that i'll link it as one of the videos in the description box or as one of the videos at the end of this video so i'm not going to go into the full detail of how i lip synced but i'll be showing us one very important thing that i didn't mention in that video and that is when using dreamina to lip sync your video when you get to this place you have to pick the character for example you can see that there is the boy and the dad in this image that i want to lip sync now so so what you will do is just click on this place and then when once this drop down comes down you select character 2 which is this boy so you look at their faces from their faces you know who is to speak so once you choose that if you want the the, the character to display any action while he's speaking you can just put it under this place but if not like me i didn't put anything here because i kind of trust their judgment let them just animate it anyhow they want and they actually did a good job in animating it dad when are we going shopping for the Christmas tree? So that's basically the only thing that I needed to put in here. But if you want to learn the entire process of how I came about lip syncing in Dreamina, please go and watch that video. It's detailed and I don't want to repeat it here. <laughs> All right. And then when you want the dad to speak, then you just select character one. Say that that was actually exactly what I did in the second one of this clip. We're not shopping this year, Liam. We're farming it. Now, if you are using Digen to animate, you'd have to almost prompt it the same way you would prompt Grok. So this one that I did, the father and the son are walking in the bush. I just kind of put in this prompt that the man, you can see the prompt I put in here to show that it is the man that will speak and not the boy. And after it animated it, it gave us this. Hmm. Let's keep looking, Liam. We need the perfect one. Now you can see that it was only the man that spoke and the boy didn't speak. 
all right so after lip syncing all the places that require lip syncing the next thing to do is to generate the voiceover of your narration you guys know that this is a combination of narration and lip sync video okay so when we come back to our script all the places that has narrator that is what you'll be copying one after the other and then you'll be pasting them under your google docs you can also use microsoft word if you prefer microsoft word but i personally prefer google docs and that's why i'm copying and pasting them under google docs once i paste all the places that narrators spoke one after the other i'll make sure that i leave some spaces in between as i'm pasting them so that when I come to my Google AI studio where I'll be generating the voiceover. There'll be pauses because I would have to, when I'm editing the videos, I'd have to div be dividing them one after the other. Don't worry, you guys will get to see all of these things. Now, the next thing is to copy it and then come to Google AI studio. Now, if you don't know how to use Google AI studio to generate your speech, I've also made a detailed tutorial on that. I would also link it as one of the videos in my description box. So I'm not going to go into all those details here. I'll just go straight to the point. So once you come to your Google AI studio, do you will click on audio and then you click on this first one here you select single speaker audio and you paste your script here on that text and then you come up to this place that says style instructions what i put here is read aloud in a warm and friendly 3d animation narration tone <laughs> if there is any vibe you want your narration to have you can also add that as well but me basically this is what i usually put this is what i put here and then after that you just scroll up here and then you click on run and wait for it to narrate your script for you so it has finished narrating my script for me the next thing is just to click on this place and then download my voiceover into my phone or my device so now that we have gotten our voiceover gotten our lip sync videos our animated videos and basically everything that we need for the story the next thing is to edit everything together i'll be using CapCut to show us how to do this so once you open your CapCut app you click on new video and then import the very first clip that you want your story to start with now after importing it i would have to select my aspect ratio by choosing looking for aspect ratio and then choosing 16 is to 9. Um, i am selecting aspect ratio because i generated the images from bing ai i'm using the images that i generated from bing ai and bing ai doesn't give 16 by 9 aspect ratio images it gives 3 is to 2. so now you can see that there are some spaces by the two sides to remove that i'll just use my two fingers to zoom it in so that the spaces will not be there the next thing is to go ahead and import the voiceover i generated that's the narration voiceover okay so i'll just click on this audio here and i'll click on sounds and it will bring me to this place and then i'll click on this second box here and click on device and then i'll look for my narrated audio so this is my audio i'll just import it click on this plus sign and then i import it into the video then after that the next thing i'll do is because i animated this my image in grok ai it has some background sounds so i'll just click on the clip and then click on volume and then reduce the volume to the zero you can actually download from grok without sounds but for some i forgot to download like this one i forgot to download it without sound now the next thing i will do is to be playing the clips the video and then i'll morning. be arranging the and clips little... according to the narration so look at this place that says and little liam morning. was and buzzing with liam... excitement i'll still click on this plus sign go to my gallery and then import little liam buzzing with excitement for this first scene you guys will notice that i zoomed it in to do that you just use keyframes that's you select the clip and then you click on this diamond sign here at the beginning of the video then you move it to the ending of the clip of that particular clip here and then you will now use your two fingers to zoom it in so that when you now come back and you play it you will discover that it's now zooming in as it's playing and then i have to add in my sound effects so when we come back to our script here you can see background music cheerful soft christmas themed tone and then sounds best chipping outside window morning ambience so i'd have to look out for these two things so when i come back to CapCut, i'll select audio and then when i come to this place i'll click on these three lines here to select the one that is 0 to 30 seconds because if you use the one that is more than 30 seconds you may get a copyright claim or copyright strike and we don't want that but if you want a longer background music because you can actually use different background musics at different points of your video right so if you want a longer background music you'd have to go to your youtube audio library and then 
get as many good background musics as you want to use that one you don't have any problem with copyright claims or copyright strikes okay and i've clicked on these three lines and i'm seeing all the cool ones that are below 30 seconds so i'll just select this silent breeze i think i like it now i'll play the video again to make sure that the it background music is not too loud and then the narration is now not being heard since the background music is actually louder than the narration i would have to click on it and then click on volume and reduce the volume to the way i want morning. and of course and i can also go ahead and increase the volume of my narration because i know i'll still be importing some sound effects and all that so it's better to just it was the a volume bright of the sunny morning so that and the little sound Liam effects was and the background music will now not be louder than the narration so that people can still hear the narration the audio now the next thing is to add the sound effects that was suggested which is the birds chipping sounds right so i'll still click on audio and then come to sound fx and i'll now come to this search bar and i'll search for bed sounds so there are different sounds here you just play them one after the other and select the one you like best so i'll just select this one i think i like it and then import it as well and of course you it can also bright, adjust the volume either morning. increase it or reduce it to get what we want so that it will not be too loud now another important thing we will do when editing our videos is when we get to the remember that we combined all the narrations together and then we generated the voiceover narration all at once but all these narrations happened at different points in the video so what you'll be doing is when you get to a place that requires um conversations or dialogues you'd have to come to your audio you select the clip and you click on split and then you cut it and then shift it <laughs> do you understand so that there will be space for you to import the audio of them having the conversation so click on plus and then come to my gallery and search for where they are having the conversation so i have imported the conversation part now so after importing all the places that there was dialogue you now go back to your narration and then you also adjust it to continue from where the narration continued after they had finished speaking so that as you are importing the next clip the narration would also be ongoing so this is basically how to edit your videos you just keep importing all the clips one after the other to make sure that they align with how the story how you want the story to go and then for the narration voiceover you just keep splitting them you split and shift split shift that's how you keep doing it until you make sure that everything is gathered together and at the end of your editing you'd have something like this it was a bright sunny morning and little liam was already buzzing with excitement christmas was coming and he couldn't christmas wait to get coming. their christmas tree When are we going shopping for the Christmas tree? We're not shopping this year, Liam. We're farming it. Farming it? Really? That sounds like fun. Will mom come with us? No, I can't come today. I have to finish making your sister's hair pretty. You two have fun, though. Liam clapped his hands with joy. Farming a Christmas tree sounded like the best adventure ever. Soon, Liam and his dad were walking through the forest, searching for the perfect Christmas tree. The smell of pine filled the air. Dad, look at that tall one over there! His dad smiled and pointed deeper into the trees. Hmm, let's keep looking, Liam. We need the perfect one. After a few minutes of searching, they finally found a tree that looked just right. Full, green, and beautiful. Dad placed his saw on the trunk and began cutting. He focused on the tree, pushing and pulling the saw with steady hands. The sound of sawing filled the forest. But while Dad was busy, Liam's curiosity grew. He looked around at the tall trees, the soft light, the leaves on the ground. Slowly, he wandered a little further, and then a little further, until Dad could no longer see him. A moment later, Dad looked up and froze. Liam? Liam, where are you? There was no answer at first. Then suddenly, a small voice cried out from between the trees. Dad, I'm here. I hurt my leg. Dad dropped uh -huh. everything and ran toward the voice. He found Liam sitting on the ground, holding his leg. A sharp stick had scratched him, and tears were rolling down his cheeks. Liam, I told you to stay close to me. You could have gotten into bigger trouble. I'm 
sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to go far. Dad gently lifted him up and checked the scratch. It wasn't serious, but it scared them both. With Liam holding his father's hand tightly, they walked back together toward the Christmas tree. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and share this video with someone you think might find it helpful as well. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my new videos. And then you can also check out the description box or one of the videos I have on the screen here to watch those videos I mentioned in the course of this video or this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!